Magnificent. Truly magnificent. Ye seekers of freedom. The world shall be plunged into chaos. And from that roiling sea, a new freedom must surely emerge. The chaos of the world's beginning. Now it shall resurrect the void. The Empyrean and the throne of creation shall be nothing, enveloped in the empty. Every world that has been will vanish. The darkness will take them, and a new future will be born. As it was, such is the world desired by all those who have ever known suffering. My children. With this, the world will surely be free. The boundless potential of the world's beginning will bring peace. Where once there was instability. The Empyrean and the throne of creation shall become a cradle and shall encircle all of its wonder. Every world that has been Every world that will be, shall be nurtured within this infinite universe. And there, a paradise shall be born. A world where all wishes are fulfilled, and none denied. Magnificent, my children. With this, the world will surely be freed.
And so, the new ruler has taken up the order of the old. Established by the one true God, this order has long governed both angels and humans alike. Seeking to prevent further chaos, the new ruler has bestowed a new Tokyo and restored those that were lost. Though it is but an echo of a past miracle, the people shall remain blissfully unaware as they go about their lives. See how the new ruler watches from his throne, how greatly pleased he is with his work. One justice, only one right answer. It is a world that wholly rejects infinite possibility. But for the humans who so easily lose their way, may this be their guiding light, their path to unwavering faith. With a prosperous future ahead, mankind need not think for themselves. They need only exhibit their devotion. Magnificent, my children. The new ruler has remade this world into one governed by a multitude of vastly different gods. The people offer their faith equally, choosing a life of diversity and building an ever-changing society in the process. But this life has no doubt proven difficult for some, those lacking convictions of their own, those seeking answers. Those who think for themselves, 
and walk their own path have come together to achieve a great many things. But these irreconcilable differences in ideology have naturally given way to immeasurable conflict. The new ruler now looks upon a world plagued with strife. However, his sadness aside, he holds firm to his beliefs. To choose is far better than to be chosen for, and responsibility should fall to those who earnestly wish to choose for themselves. And so, the battle of the gods came to an end, yet the victor had forsaken his claim to sovereignty. The world was not created anew. Rather, the agents of chaos continued to run rampant. However, 
even in this absence of order, humanity found a way to combat the demons. Many will inevitably perish in the fight against the overwhelming forces of demon kind. But with the power of both knowledge and creation on their side, humanity will surely see victory. His throne gone, the new ruler observed the disarray below, pleased by the thoughts of things yet to come. Magnificent, my children. So that's it. With what Lucifer has shared, the world you create will be everlasting. True, unrestricted freedom, born from eons of battle. All that's left is to add the final touches. Gods and demons have no place in the world. At least not in yours. It seems this is truly farewell. Still, our souls are one and the same, and all you do will be as I would have done. It's in your hands. Make it so.
And thus ended the world of man. With the new ruler came a new world order. It was an order akin to the world of old, and yet it was altogether different. Desires of a world free from demons, of a never-ending cycle of creation at last being broken, had led to this moment. But all things must eventually come to an end. Could the world truly exist apart from Mandala? Only the cosmos know what tomorrow will bring. <laughs>